Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be one I haven't done for a really long time. I've got a huge charity shop homeware haul. I haven't done very well with the clothing at the moment. I feel like everything is just like old Primark or old supermarket clothes. And while that is all right to buy from those brands, I just feel like I don't really want it secondhand. Basically, I've just been going mad on homeware. <laughs> As you know, we're renovating a house at the moment, so every time a different room gets finished, I like to add some vintage secondhand pieces to it. I love vintage, I love um, modern, mid-century. I'm a huge cottage core fan. Um, we live in a 1930s house. So yeah, it's not like the oldest of houses, but I like to keep a bit of history where I can. Um, although the rooms are done out pretty modern, I like to add hints of vintage antiques and stuff like that. So yeah, it will reflect that in this haul. So the first thing I picked up is oh, a picture for the walls. I love wall art, but I find a lot of modern wall art is all the same. So I like to go into charity shops because they've always got nice old frames, nice art. This one just stood out to me, I really liked it. I think it was two pound or something ridiculous. And it's just this lady sniffing some roses. I thought she was really nice. Oh yeah, on the back. I got it from a Cats Protection League and it was two pound. Sorry if you can hear soaring outside. I just really like it. I don't know what it is, whether it's an oil or a drawing, crayon, I'm not sure, but I really like her. She sits above my computer in the office and for two pound I couldn't resist it. It's got like a solid wood, fla wood frame and then it's all framed really nicely around the back. Um, it was framed at Stourbridge Galleries in the West Midlands. And on that same trip, I picked this up. Now, some might say it's too soon for Christmas. I feel like Christmas starts in November. I don't know why everybody is such a Scrooge about it. I love Christmas um, and I love finding different pieces in the charity shop each year to add to my Christmas decor or Christmas tree or like gifts. I feel like you can find some really nice um, gifts in the charity shop that people have donated that are already brand new. But yeah, I came across this plate and I had to have it. And it's from the Christmas Carol. Um, and it's by Ainsley, made in England. It's fine bone china. And it's Mr. Fezziwig's ball a Christmas, from the Christmas Carol. I just really like it. I think, I checked on eBay and I think there's like a set of four of these. So I wanna get the other three, but I don't wanna just buy them off eBay. I wanna make it my mission to come across them gradually in the charity shops and pick them up when I can. But I really like it. Put mince pies on, Christmas snackage. I think it was, two pound three pound maybe so i suppose while we're on oh i'll do another christmas thing couldn't resist this it was 50p i think and it's just a little christmas mug <laughs> he's so cute he's just got father christmas on and then on the back it says happiness is christmas don't know whether it'll focus oh the boiler's just started if you can hear that i apologize um but yeah and it's perfect size for a cup of tea. I love this size for a cup of tea, especially in the evening. Um, a little bit scratched inside, but I have sterilised all this. It's all clean, so I love that. And that was Kilncraft, England. That's made by. Now this is the bargain of the century. I bought two. Well, this is a tea set <laughs> in a fashion. It hasn't got the teapot or anything. But I've been after this print for so long and I wanted it in either this or the pink. I still probably will buy the pink if I come across it. So it's the Old Inn series by Staffordshire, England. Look at these plates, they're so cute. They just fill all of my cottage core wants. So those are the little saucers. These are the little cups. That is what I'll be having my cup of tea in in the future so there's six of those six of those and then i'm not going to get it all out because it'll just take me forever you get six li little i'm guessing they're like cake plates they're not big enough for um like dinner plates or anything i hope it's focusing i just love this green color it's so nice love the print so much and i got all that for four pounds which 
this is just insane. I couldn't believe it when it, I clicked the box up and it said £4 on it. I think that was just the bargain of the month. So next to that was actually these. I don't know whether they did like a house clearance or something and somebody was a collector. These are Staffordshire as well and they are like the old sort of willow pattern. They're by the Salem China Company, Old Staffordshire. Finest English ironstone, hand engraved, um, and it's called, the pattern is called English Village. Now these aren't as in a good condition as the green set, but I just love them. I think they'd even look cute if you had like a little cottage and you hung them on the walls, these. I've got four of these. They're all the same print. Imagine because there wasn't six, someone just got rid of them. I love these so much. They were four pound as well. Um, and they're like dinner plate size. My mum talked me into getting those. Because we've already got like two dinner sets downstairs and I really don't need another, but I just love the print of that. It's so, so nice. So, moving away from crockery. We pick this up. I've been eyeing up wall sconces on Pinterest for ages. And I really like this one. It's black, but I thought I would gold leaf it. Spray it gold, gold leaf it, something like that. It was two pound. I feel like it's got like these grabbery bits at the front. I feel like there might have been like a glass pot in there or something with a candle in, but they're quite sturdy. So I thought if I got quite a thick like church candle, pillar candle, it would grab onto it. So I was just gonna put that on the wall somewhere in the house. I couldn't resist it. I really liked it. There wasn't two, unfortunately. I've only got the one, but there's a lady, I can't remember the name of her, but um, I don't know if anybody's heard of the shop Cutter Brooks, which is based in the Cotswolds. She stocks a lady's wall sconces and they're like, they're made out of brass and they're ivy. Oh my God, they're just to die for, but they're like 300 pound each, which I cannot afford. That's what inspired me to sort of look at wall sconces. But hers is like a pillar candle holder, not a pillar candle, like the, Candle sticks, um, it holds those, whereas this one will probably only do a pillar, but I'll link um, Cutter Brooks down below. I'm in love with her, like her shop is insane. I've never been, but I would love to go. So then I picked up a few more Christmas decorations, only three, they had like a huge um, plastic box full of little decorations, and I find that's where you can find some really unique pieces. The first one I picked up was this little cardboard, I think it's Elizabeth, the first, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong, or if I find out I'm wrong, I will write it below, but quite thick, like a wooden thing. I just thought she'd look cute on the tree. And she reminds me of, if anybody used to watch Blackadder, um, Queenie off there. I love her. I think it's 50p or 20p or something like that. And then I got these, which I love. Can you imagine those as earrings? Oh my God. They look epic. <laughs> uh, they're just little wooden, are they fleur de lis? Um, yeah, I really like those. I think they'll look cool on the tree. Our tree is pretty much the same every year. It's got like a gold green woodlandy sort of theme, I guess. Um, but I like to add little different bits here and there. So they're really nice. I love those. Then. <laughs> My mum bought this for Barry. Betty and Bert have already got their Christmas jumpers, but she bought him this. So cute. We, we need to fix the reindeer's nose because it's all come unthreaded, but I think this was two pounds or something. He looks ridiculous in it. They all do, don't they? But I love seeing them in Christmas jumpers. Then I came across this, which I've been on the hunt for for quite a while. I want a bit, wanted a bigger one than this, but um, I really like it. And it's just like a, I'll show you that way. Um, a little basket and I wanted to use this just for like collecting flowers and stuff in. It was two pound, I wouldn't have spent it, oh my god they wanted five pound for it originally, what a rip off. It's quite flimsy, it's like a wicker material but I'd have never paid five pound for it. I just really like it, again my cottage core love, um, I'll be getting a lot of use out of that. Now while we're on the subject of vases, I bought three, all from the ch same charity shop. So this was the first one, I've got a bit of a love for coloured glass and I've already got a green one in the bathroom which I'd featured in a charity shop haul ages ago but this is the same colour and I love it. It's so nice, I'll show it you there. Um, yeah it's just on a little stand, it's got these little handles I guess and it goes up into a bit of a trumpet. I just keep a few dried flowers in this but I love the colour. If I see green glass I'm like oh god I need it. I would fill the house full of green glass. There's something about it. 
don't know what it is i think it's just my inner magpie that needs to have it i think it was three pound bargain couldn't resist it i love it so much then in keeping with the colored glass um theme i found this in the window it's two pound absolute bargain and it's huge it's like this what sort of yellow would you call it it's almost like a ambery i suppose it is an amber color isn't it but i love this it's really nice for loads and loads of flowers i went over to the park with the dogs the other day and picked so much um like foliage and berries and stuff and wedged them all in here and it looked really nice because they just all sort of like cascade over the sides so if you bought this in an actual like high street shop you'd pay 30 40 pound for it so i don't know who it's by it hasn't got a name on it or anything i wouldn't have said it was that old but I couldn't resist it. And then oh, on the same day, I got this bad boy. This is like a stoneware one. I don't know whether it's got, again, it's got no engravement or anything. So I don't really know how old it is or if even if it is that old, but I loved the color. I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see that, but it's got like a crackle glaze. And again, I just keep dried flowers in it. I actually foraged these myself when we went to Cornwall off the, um, like cliff tops, sand dunes, um, they all came from there. So this is just like a little bit of a memory. I just poke in the top, but yeah, it's really big. I think again, it was two or three pound, just a bargain and I couldn't leave it there. So if you are on the lookout for vases on pots or flower pots, charity shops are such a good place to look because I always find in the high street or at garden centers, they are ridiculously priced. Again, you'd pay 40 pound for this all day long on the high street so yeah bargain right so i've got two mirrors left to show you um and these were bargains you won't believe what the big one cost me this one was a little bit more expensive i don't know why whether it's just because of the shop i went to or because it's got a stand i'm not sure but i've got a bit of a fetish isn't the right <laughs> the right word is it a bit of an, a, like an obsession of buying gold framed mirrors i got this little dressing table mirror Sorry about all the reflections um, in it, but how cute is this? It's got a little wooden stand at the back. This is some sort of metal, I don't really know, but it's so nice. The only annoying thing is, is you can see, when it's down, you can see the stand here. So I do ke keep it stood up like that, and it sits in the bathroom, behind the toilet, really like this. I think I paid six pound for it, which, when you see the next one, you'll be like, mm, that's quite expensive. But um, yeah, I had to have it. It's really nice. It's got like aged glass in it. I don't really mind too much, but oh my God, is that what I look like from underneath? <laughs> and then the last item, you're not gonna believe how much I paid for this. This, I say the tea set was the bargain of the century, but I think this might be. It's so heavy. Oh my God. And it's really thick. So this is it. I want you all to just have a little guess how much I paid for this. It's huge, it weighs a ton, I need to put it down. It's got all like the original fixing at the back. Um, it needs a little bit, it needs some nails going into the backboard just to uh, secure it on there, but oh my God, I'm so impressed with this. And I've looked at it in the window a few times when I walked past and I, when I've just been passing and I thought, oh, it's going to be 20 odd, 30 pound from there because of its weight and because it's an old vintage mirror. Uh, they generally are quite expensive, but I went in with my mum um, a couple of weeks ago, picked it up and just out of curiosity and they wanted four pounds for it. I was like, right, I've never made a move so quickly. <laughs> four pound for this, I couldn't leave it there. Even if I figure out that I haven't got anywhere to put it. Um, I can just sell it on and make a few quid. So yeah, I love this so much. So yeah, um, that is it. Let me know if you do want a clothing one. I'm always in and out. And I think I probably have picked up a few bits over the past few months, but I can't remember. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Let me know what you bought from the charity shop lately because i would love to know i'm so nosy if you've never been charity shopping for homeware before i really urge you to because it's such an affordable way to kit your home out even if it is like little vases or trinkets here and there 
plates, crockery. They're so good. Give it a thumbs up if you want more charity shop hauls and I will see you in my next video. Bye.